everybody, welcome back to The Sublimation Life. In this tutorial, we're going to check out Cricut's new update to the print then cut sizes. If you're familiar with the print then cut feature in Cricut, you're also going to be aware of the limitations that we have when it comes to printing certain sizes. As you might know, before they did the update, the largest print size we could do was a 6.75 inches wide by a 9.25 inches tall. We couldn't do anything any larger because otherwise if we did, you would get that warning sign over to the right telling us that it's not supported by our machine or that we can change the paper size, but we really want to be able to print what we want to print for the size of project that we need. And luckily, Cricut finally heard us because we can now print up to larger format sizings that can print up to an 11.5 inches wide by 23.5 inches wide. So that's a huge difference. And I'm going to zoom out here and just kind of do a comparison side by side on the difference in size. And then I'll show you how we actually go about getting to the updated version to try so that you can do that large print format. So as you can see, this is my larger sized little elephant, and this is the one where we can normally do, which was limited. As you can see, because I upped the size, it does have that little exclamation mark warning over there telling me that's too big to print, and it won't even let us go to our next step. So to get to that large print format, what we need to do is go on over to the far left where the little hamburger lines are. We're going to go ahead and click on that. Go down to settings right here. Click on settings. And you're going to get the design space settings pop-up box. And there's going to be tabs for general, canvas, load type, notifications, language, saving for offline and application experience. The application experience is the only thing you need to worry about as you're trying to change to the updated version. As you can see, it is selected as live. And even over here, when you have your Cricut over here saying what it is, this is the version it comes up with. Do, do notice that because later it's gonna change. So go ahead and change and click to the beta. You'll get a pop-up notification saying that your project is gonna restart. So it is recommended to save your project before you restart it in case it deletes your project in the middle of what you're doing. Then go ahead and press done. And from here, it is gonna close everything out. It might tell you to say okay because it's already running. That's fine, just follow this and then it's gonna do what it does. And there's that, you'll just push okay and let it do what it needs to do. All right, so we have reloaded and re-updated Cricut Design Space. My image is a little off-center, but we'll go back and correct that. I first want to point out that up here now, it says beta. So that means you successfully transferred from the live version to the beta version, which means you'll have that large format print now. So let me go ahead and just bring my little elephants back to where I need them so I can see. All right, so now that my little elephants are back into center, we're gonna go to the right corner where your layers are. As you can see, it still does have the little exclamation error icon. So let's go ahead and click on that. And this is the one that's for the larger elephant. So now that it has updated to the larger format printing, there are still a few steps you have to do prior to printing out in the larger format. Because as you can see, it's still gonna say image too large because it's larger than the copy paper. So from here, we're gonna go down. There's two options. You can either auto resize your image, which will make it to this size right here, or you can go and change the paper size. So we'll click on that, and it's gonna bring up that design space settings again. This time it's on load type. And this brings up print then cut page size, and you can change it to a larger paper size. So we'll go up to the largest, which is an A3, 1.7 by 16.5. So now that we've done that, again, still be aware there's still the exclamation point. 
and that's because the image needs to be sized to fit onto that paper. The paper is only so wide, so it's a 16.5 tall by 11.7 wide, which means my image just needs to be resized a little bit smaller to be able to fit onto that size of paper. To make that perfectly easy, Cricut did add an auto resize image button. You simply click on that and it slightly resizes it down to the size that will make it fit for you. Again, there are still some limitations to the update, but it's so much better because there's still a huge difference in the size we can print. This is the larger format, 10.64 inches by 12.2 inches versus the 6.75 inches by 7.4 inches right there. Now, the height and the width will make a difference because, of course, my little elephant is more of a square shape versus if you're going to have a longer rectangular shape, you will be able to print that larger 23 by 5 inches tall image as long as it fits still on the mat. It still has to be able to fit on the cutting mat. Even though the paper can be the right size, you still have to be able to use your mat. So it's going to auto resize to what it feels is going to fit still on the cutting mat. Be aware of that. But now we can also go over to make it and there's no more too large error code. And now you have a large print then cut. You can move it around. You can place it where you want to, but you can see the difference versus what we previously were able to size compared to now. It's a huge print and it's going to make it so much easier for those large projects that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my canvas. All right, so that's how we update our Cricut from the original software to the beta version so that we can do those larger print formats with the print then cut feature. If you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and boop that like button, subscribe to this channel, and share for others so they can get helped as well. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting!